Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today is bright and early. Noelle and I both woke up before the sun was up. Got bait, got all this good stuff. Tent is set up. We got sky. And then I think Loon is in the ice hut right now. We have eight flags out. The goal is to catch smallmouth. That's the target species, but we'll see. There's also largemouth and a bunch of other great stuff in here as well. I'm sure pickerel and whatnot. We're gonna jig right now. And I'm 99% positive I'm just gonna end up staying the night. So we're gonna be ice camping most likely, but we're gonna fish throughout the entire day. Hopefully figure out a really good bite. We're starting on one end. And then if it doesn't do good, I know that I've done well in that corner before too. We're just gonna have fun and pop around and see what happens. See what happens. Welcome to New Hampshire. Sky and I are still up here and um, Noelle decided to join us. What's your YouTube? At Noelle Roth. Subscribe. Okay, bye. Let's get to fishing. Are you jigging in here or out there? I have a hole back here. So you're leaving me? I can jig in there. No, I, you know, it's fine. I didn't know if you... No, 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 I didn't want to jig with you. Okay. <laughs> fine. It's whatever. I don't even care. I don't care anymore. God, it's fine. <laughs> Are we fighting? Always. Oh! <laughs> I promise you oh, I'm not crying. Oh, 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 oh! You want? I'm on. It feels really nice. Heck yeah. Will you grab them for me? Yeah. You might have to go through the other door, yeah. I don't need Oh. <gasps> that's no. a good size. Yeah, that's... I have four pound test. Ice fishing tip. Grab them! Grab them! No, no, not the line! Not the line! I got it, I got it, I got it. Ah! <gasps> wow! <gasps> Dude! <gasps> Hell yeah. <gasps> you got a beautiful smiley. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought when you grabbed the line, I, sh I pooped myself. I know, I was like, can you chill for a hot second? I know what I'm doing. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I did just say we were fighting, remember earlier? Yeah, we were fighting. So cool. now we're definitely fighting. Nice dude, dogs. are you kidding? Let's go, dude. I'm not trying to be dramatic, but that's like a four pounder. Yeah, let's I got go. A, I got a scale. You got a scale? Yeah, so I'm gonna say 3.7. Wow, it's turning on, guys. Okay, is that my only scale? Ain't nobody got AAA batteries, I only have AA. Okay, so don't have a scale that's working, that's fine. I think that's almost a four though. I mean, like, that's a toad. Let's go. That's like, in ma I don't know, like that's a massive smallie. All right, so nothing was on the flag, but we're gonna release this bu. Definitely one of my bigger smallmouth ever, so first fish of the day, I'm not mad. Go get him, bud. Oh. Gonzo. I love you. Sweet. Yeah, I'm definitely camping here tonight. Yeah. Ooh, that feels good. Oh, that feels real good. Ready? Oh my god. Look at that large one. Oh Look my god. Large oh my god. Let's go. That's a giant largey. Woohoo. Hi, Looney. To start off the day, you got a flag. What? Right there. Oh, do you mind? No. Do you want to bring him over? I'll bring him over. I just gotta un. Okay. All right. Gotta go get a flag. Got him. Wow, that feels huge. He took a decent chunk of line, that's for sure. No, he popped off! I'm gonna tell myself it was a pickerel, so it doesn't hurt. Okay. Oh, God. All right, Loon. Is this, oh my God. You, you can sit in my lap, but you have to just sit. You just have to sit. <laughs> what the? <laughs> what is this? What is this? His butt is straight in my face. Good thing you don't have a long tail. I'd be getting slapped. What are you doing? Loon. 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 <laughs> oh, why didn't you guys catch any fish? Well. <laughs> Oh my goodness! You're not a lap dog! Ow! Ow! I just... There he goes. There he goes. I'm trying to I'm trying to fish. I'm trying to fish. Oh, I love you too. I know. I know. Okay, here he goes again. Wow. Oh my god, you're so wet. Got one. 
Yep. Uh, it came off. Oh. oh, I got it. You got him? Yep. Oh, oh. he came off. There we go. Okay, this is scary. This is terrifying. Oh, I'm gonna double up. What do you got? Small now. It's oh. not a giant. A hot dog. Kidding. It was like a two pounder, yeah. Oh, dang it. Okay. I'm gonna run to the store quickly. The bite's been really slow. Midday lull, all that stuff. So I'm walking to my truck right now. But yeah, we gotta grab some stuff. Otherwise there's nothing to eat right now, so. We planned on pond hopping, but this just ended up being really good. So uh, I didn't buy anything. Now I gotta leave and walk back and it should be fun. We got food for everybody, which is just Noelle and I. Um, it was a general store, not like a grocery store, so they didn't have much, but I, I have an idea for dinner. Should should go well. Buddy Jerry's out fishing with me, and uh, I don't want to sit on his uh, little like four by wheeler or whatever you want to call that thing because you know Sky can't go on it. So I was like, Oh, I'll walk, and he was like, Oh, I'll take your gear still, so I don't have to drag anything to the shack, which is super nice. <laughs> Shout out, Jerry. Why are they both looking at? That's so weird. That's a beautiful Dang. small mouth. Oh, Look at the colors. Girl. Yeah, that's a beautiful. Sky, oh, Sky. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Oh, Sky. <laughs> nice little half of the sandwich for lunch. The other half's for Noel. It actually looks really nice. It's also super hot. I just had to take off my pants back to fishing soon but this is a nice little break i got everything i need to ice camp tonight out in the ice so we're good to go i'm just gonna chill for a little bit and then go hit them hard you know cheers the lull is over the lull is over not coming off you can try your best but you can't succeed oh god oh he's already up at the hole yeah that's a big big fish oh my god that's a giant oh my god My, I literally said, uh, I turned my GoPro on the second he came on the screen, but I think you guys literally, the camera turned on the s absolute second I set the hook. But he came on screen and that was it. Like he just, oh my God. Wow, that's a really big small mouth. Wow. That's my biggest smallie ever. That's my biggest smallie I've ever caught in my life. 
that's huge. This spot is uh, it's pretty good. Probably my biggest small mouth of my life. Very casually saying that, but probably four, four and a half pounder right here. It's a giant. <laughs> That's that's a big small mouth. Oh, there she goes. She kicked off nice and strong. So you like to see? Kind of the biggest small mouth of my life. Like super oh, casually. Oh yeah, sorry, my <laughs> hand. That fish was very slimy. <laughs> All right, back to the shack I go. Nice. Bum. Heck yeah. There he goes. Strip transducer out. That's how I lost my last fish. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Oh, you brought the chips. Yeah, dude. a toad but oh my god barely hooked i love that for me not a toad still a good fish i really hope they're biting all night long man otherwise we well not otherwise but if they are we are in for a show look at their hat not a bad guy i should probably show you guys i don't know what bait this is got it at a tackle shop down the street but this is the lure that That's i'm throwing cool. nothing like I, I mean i literally just tried it out and it's been doing really good um, Sit down. Tipping it with a mealworm. First smallmouth ice fishing mission of the year. Success. Oh. That thing did like a trick shot. Wow. Into the hole. That was pretty impressive. I gotta get my like home set up for the night soon too. I just I just don't want to wake Sky. So long. <laughs> <laughs> All right, transducer's being a little bit weird right now, but it's fine. Uh, the sun's going down. This should be prime bite time if my unit would work, but it's giving me some issues. That's all right. We'll figure it out. Um, nonetheless, I decided to switch combos to just a little bit more of a heavy set combo. This is the Circle Alpha 29 and then the Guggen Gold size. I think this is the size 1000 reel. So it was six pound test on it. So I think that's gonna be key. Probably should have done that a lot earlier in the day, but it's so much fun fighting them with the lightest setup. I'm a sucker for a good fight, even though I lost a couple, a lot, but it's fine. We're back, we're back and better than ever. And this should be a good bite. Maybe if I just like, shut my unit on and off. All right, we're just blind jigging right now because it's not working. No, oh, that's a bummer. Man, prime time fishing. Noelle just left. And my Garmin unit isn't working. Don't beep at me. I can't believe it. We go all day. Transducer is not working. <laughs> I'm gonna spend some time on it and figure it out. Uh, but for now I put the rattle reel in here so we have a flag technically. Um, we got live bait going in the shack. And I think we need to pick me up. A little bummed out about my Garmin unit. I've had this thing since I started ice fishing. So um, is it time for a new unit? Maybe. I don't want to resort to that though. So I'm going to spend some time after dinner trying to fix it. But for now, we're going to make some dinner. The issue with dinner is we're pretty much in the middle of nowhere as we speak and there's no supermarkets no superstores nothing like that but noel and i's plan was to start here and then we were probably going to end up at another lake and on that way we were going to pass uh hannaford's or some sort of grocery market 
So I was like, all right, a little New Hampshire, Hannaford's grocery market, perfect. That's when I'll get dinner. Didn't happen. The only thing was that little store that we went to earlier and I couldn't find much. <laughs> a canned blueberries and something else and you're probably confused and that's valid, but you'll see why I grabbed um, canned blueberries. I had this in the truck. I bought this only a couple days ago because I was really craving pancakes. Pancakes. Uh, and it, all you need is water. So perfect. We got water. We're going to make some pancakes, which is easily my favorite thing in the entire world. So I'm not mad to say the least. This is about as bougie as it gets. Measuring cup. Don't know her. We don't need a measuring cup. A bowl to mix everything in. Don't need that either. Just to add a little bit of pizzazz, if you will. If you've never had canned blueberries, they're really great. So, yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. We're gonna cook them and warm up them. Oh no. <clears throat> a little too hot, just a little. Dinner is served. I've eaten a lot worse. I've eaten a lot better, but I've eaten a lot worse camping. So we're gonna use this knife because we don't, <laughs> I don't know where my fork went. But I would do fine with a spoon too, but I don't even have that. I had both. Going in. It's good. I'm not complaining. If you ever go to IHOP, they use canned blueberries and stuff like that too. It's good. It's not bad. Not bad and very filling, but I can't really finish the rest. I'm going to clean up from dinner and then show you guys around because I didn't really give much of a tour. I was too devastated about my fish finder not working. So I'm going to clean up and give you guys a grand old tour of Sky and I's home. And then also put the heater on because it's really cold in here now and you can see my breath winter i love it say welcome to my crib okay that sky spot storage sky's bowls my storage area heater garmin unit that doesn't work fishing tackle in that corner rattle reel that goes to the hole snacks sky licking herself more storage that's the tour basically the same exact setup as it was the other night the only issue is um i'm just being real tonight kind of sucks <laughs> like my garmin unit not working is so devastating i don't even know like couldn't find good groceries to make a really cool dinner which i feel like a disappointment because i know you guys love when i cook and then my heater, if you can't hear it, is making a squeaking noise. I thought it was going to blow up. I looked up everything online and everything online. Oh my god, it stopped. It'll probably start again. Everything online is saying it's not like a concern. Um, and that it happens, I guess. I don't know. I don't love it. It's really obnoxious. It's, it's quite annoying. Um, but apparently it's not dangerous. It sounds dangerous with how loud the squeaking is though. Anyways, so with the Garmin and the heater giving me issues, one of the top two really important things when you're ice fishing, it's just a bummer. I know I have live bait down there, but live bait wasn't doing as good all day as the rod was. <sighs> but hey, we have all night. We'll see what happens. I've been up since... 5 a.m. So it's been a really long day. I got here at like just after 7. I would have gotten here way earlier, but I had to wait for the store to open to get propane. So it's been a day to say the least. And I'm feeling it. 
I don't know why everything's going wrong. Like, literally, Noelle left, and everything went wrong. But the good news is Noelle will be here in the morning because she's coming back to Ice Fish. Another thing is the stars are incredible. We're probably near one of those like weird mini airports in New Hampshire or something. I don't know what that airplane is. I got like <laughs> overwhelmed and anxious, which I know I don't talk much on my channel about having a panic attack disorder, but it's hard day-to-day -day stuff just it just makes it more difficult and you get in your head ten, 10 times more um and i i felt a panic attack coming along and this is gonna sound super lame but sky needed to pee and i brought her outside and i just looked up and there's stars everywhere i saw the big oopsies i saw the big dipper and then i'm pretty sure i saw the little dipper I think right big and I don't know but it was insane the stars are top three I've ever seen in my life I can't get any good footage of it <laughs> nothing I have like four cameras not one is picking it up um but yeah that made me feel um a lot better it's just like random little things like that will ease my mind um but yeah I don't know just like super stressed out I don't need to go on a rant but kind of got a little overwhelmed and it's looking like I need a new ice fishing unit and these suckers aren't very cheap. So just like stupid little things, you know? But on the bright side, Sky's happy. So that's all that matters. <laughs> Oh, that sucks. I don't know what's going on with the buddy heater, so. Uh, looks like Rise camping without any heat. <laughs> you know, sometimes life throws you curveballs, and you just gotta deal with it. Luckily, I have a really warm sleeping bag, but if I didn't, I'd, I'd be really nervous right now. Um... I'll keep you posted. I'm still gonna try messing around with it, but I'm gonna also close my eyes for a little bit. Um, probably gonna bring Sky in my sleeping bag, and we're gonna be a okay. Not ideal. <laughs> Not ideal. <laughs> Good morning. Um, it's cold. It's really, really cold. <laughs> Sky and I made it through the whole night. She is a trooper. Every time I checked on her, she was warm. I put a jacket on her. Um, and her body heat was just doing its thing. She is a double-coated golden retriever, so I'm a little bit jealous of how warm she was last night. Um... But on the bright side, despite the fact that I'm freezing and was shivering for <laughs> way too long last night, Noelle is on her way. It's about 5.30 or no, it's probably about 6 now. I think we texted at 5.30. Um, she's on her way and after all the research I did or attempted to do with a lack of cell service, it sounds like the main issue is the hose, so it's not getting enough propane or gas flow. So if I did leave it on all night, or even, f f you know, it could have taken 20 minutes, the gas would have built up and it would just cause like an explosion, not like a huge explosion, but it would, it would have caught on fire. So I'm getting at, so, um, when I was talking to Riley and if you guys know Riley he's been through a lot of crazy stuff like this he has bad luck with propane heaters and he told me that's exactly what his sounded like when his blew up so um and he said it was it was uh the hose so Noelle is going to the bait shop to grab more bait because she's going to be out here all day and she's going to grab a one pound propane tank which requires no hose 
Um, and we're going to test it out when she gets here. And I just hope it works and doesn't make any sketchy sound because I just need warmth for like 20 minutes. And that propane tank should last like an hour and a half. And I'd be, I'd be, that'd be a really happy hour and a half. <laughs> um, I just messed around with my Garmin unit again. Nope. Still, still not good. So I'm guessing the next time we go ice fishing, I will most likely have a new unit. I don't know. Maybe I can just buy the, a different transducer for this thing. Cause that's definitely what the issue is. I'm going to figure it out, but that's a later issue. Let's focus on staying warm until Noelle gets here, um, which she should 10 more minutes, 10 more minutes and she'll be here and everything's going to be okay. Noelle is saving the day any second, <laughs> please. I hear Noelle. I can't tell how close or far away she is. I've been hearing her walk for like 10 minutes already. It's a far walk, to be fair. Hello! Hi! <laughs> I'm Hi, Sky! I'm really cold. Yeah? Yeah. Well, it's a good thing that we have a heater. Well, we have a uh, new propane. Yeah, I'm praying that's it. I think, I think that's going to solve the issue. Okay. Did oh, you Sky. One tank? Oh, you're shivering. Or you're just no, excited? I'm excited, yeah. All right. Oh, okay. Oh, sure. It's gonna be almost 40 degrees at 9 a.m. God bless. Yeah. It's gonna take. Take it. It's gonna take a couple minutes, maybe like a minute to see if it makes the sound, and if it does, then the heater's an issue. Wow. Beautiful morning. Well, Sky just had the time of her life <laughs> rolling around. Um, I'm gonna blindly jig for a little bit. I've, you know, no intentions of really rushing out of here. Last night, that of course, that was the only thing in my head was I can't wait to leave when the sun comes up. But now that I have the heater working, um, I would like to try to catch one more fish. Like, why? I think I deserve a fish. Issue number one is my Garmin fish finder is still not working. So if we were to get a bite, I would have no idea, but it's, it's worth trying because this is a, like one of the more sensitive rods that I own. So it could potentially work. I don't know. This guy's watching you through the window. <laughs> okay. I'm on. No way, I didn't even set my drag. Oh my god, I didn't even hit the bottom. He must have ate it while it, when it dropped. Oh my god. Oh my god. I deserve this fish so bad right now. I deserve this fish so bad right now. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. What? Barely hooked. Oh my god. Who needs a fish finder? <laughs> Just a casual, I don't know, three and a half pound smallmouth. I did say I deserved it. And I definitely deserved it. Where were you guys last night? I had live bait and everything. You're a feisty boy. Uh oh. No, no, no. Oh no. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Yeah, there you go, bud. Well, there you have it. You don't need a fish finder. You definitely do need some sort of fish finder sometimes, but it depends. If you guys watch my recent ice camping video, maybe I think it was my first ice camping video of this year. You need a fish finder for a bite like that. There's no, I mean, you, there's no doubt in my mind, you know, with the small mouth hitting as hard as they are right now, I just have to be on my toes, I guess. And that's it.
I that was my first drop. I mean, that, that was insane. That was insane. I don't even think I hit bottom. Packed and loaded. Hi, pretty girl. <laughs> go get him. Go get him. Go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode as much as I did. And I say that almost every video, but I, I did enjoy today. Today was a lot of fun. Last night, yesterday, it was all fun. Things like this happen and you learn. I'm going to get home, look at some videos online when I have cell service again, and watch videos on how to clean a body heater because that might just be the issue. I don't know. We'll find out. Noelle and Tim are out there right now ice fishing. Make sure to go check out her channel if you want to watch any of her content. She should be coming back better than ever, and I'm really excited for her. So thank you so much to Noelle for the support <laughs> on this endeavor. Shout out to Skye. I think we finally found out what Skye's favorite way to camp is, and that's ice camping. I haven't seen Skye this happy the last two times we've ice camped in, in a while. Like, I don't even know if I've ever seen her so at peace like the in her element i don't it's crazy anyways i love you guys i appreciate you guys hopefully you guys enjoyed i will catch you beautiful people on the next one